Hi, Father Paul here at the Sunday Mass, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to celebrate and to pray with us. But before we begin our celebration, I just want to touch on a little issue or problem that we've been having. Perhaps in recent weeks and months, as you joined us on YouTube or on our website, uh, you've seen little ads pop up during the Mass. First of all, I want to personally apologize for this disruption and let you know that this is not of our doing. We don't monetize our channel, so we receive nothing for those ads. But it seems YouTube, in their policies, still continue uh, to put ads periodically on the content that we produce. We are working very hard to solve this problem, and hopefully at some point in the near future, at least on our website, you'll be able to watch the Mass ad-free. If you do watch us on the YouTube channel and have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and become part of the Sunday Mass faith community on YouTube. Again, thank you for your time. Let us begin our celebration. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass, a ministry of the Passionist community. It is February 6th, the fifth Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Leonel. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to the beginning of Mass, and let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you feel the nets to bursting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You remind us not to be afraid. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You make us fishers of people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you. you. We bless you. you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. They cried out to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said. Send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the, the apostles. Last of all, as to one abnormally born, he appeared to me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach and so you believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory, glory to you o lord while the crowd was pressing in on jesus and listening to the word of god he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. he saw two boats there alongside the lake the fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets getting into one of the boats the one belonging to simon he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and took the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nest for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. 
When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nests were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him, and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, for now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Surely this Sunday, Sunday could be named the Calling Sunday. All three of the rings for this Sunday contain a story of a call. Different people in different circumstances with different social and religious status, yet all are touched by the divine initiative. Isaiah, perhaps daydreaming, was in the Jerusalem temple. Paul, certainly persecuting, was on the road to Damascus. The fishermen at the lake of Genezareth were washing their nets. In the gospel, Jesus standing on the lake side with a crowd pressing around him to hear the word of God. Significantly, Peter and his companions are not part of this crowd. They are tending to their nets after an unprofitable night's fishing. Then Jesus himself becomes a fisherman, for as Proverbs 20th says, the intention of the human heart is deep water, but the intelligent draw it forth. He gets into Simon's boat, hauls this probably nonplussed man in with him, and puts out a short way from the shore to continue teaching the crowd. After that, Jesus addresses his words to Simon only, telling him to launch out into the deep and put down his nets for a catch. Responding to Jesus as master, and although he cannot resist reminding Jesus that their nets were empty the night before, in obedience to Jesus' words, Peter cast them into the water. And we have heard what happens next. Empty, net, empty nets become full to the breaking point. And Peter's personal encounter with Jesus leads to the call of James and John to help with the catch. Emptiness becomes fullness in not only one boat, but two. Peter is as overwhelmed as the boats. He could have kept this to himself. He had a big take. He'd likely to be the only person with fish to sell the next day. Instead, his reaction is to tell his colleagues about the opportunity he's found. They set out into the water, and both boats are filled so heavy with fish that they can barely keep them afloat. He falls down at Jesus' feet, begging Jesus to leave him because he is a sinner, which could be Peter's humble profession of his unworthiness to associate with Jesus. But if we read our own experiences, could there not also be a fear of the deep waters that Peter might be letting himself into? Waters that would be less troubled if Jesus just went away and left the fishermen to their nets empty or full? Are there times when we have said to God, why me? When being asked to cope with this commitment, this vocation, this suffering. Certainly, we're concerned about vocations to the priesthood and to religious life, particularly to our passionist community. But most importantly is the need of men and women of all backgrounds, deeply aware of being called to discipleship and to put down their hearts into the waters of this broken world. From that experience of God's love and mercy will come or will blossom new vocations. You who follow us through social media, join us in prayer that more young people be open to become passionate priests, brothers, sisters, and associates. Maybe some of you are being called to follow Jesus crucified, to serve our vulnerable sisters and brothers, to be fishes of people. Think and pray about it and contact us as Passionist Vocations in Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.
now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, be God not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will you come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Great is our God, so let us call upon his power and mercy to hear and respond to our petitions and prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the ill, infirmed, and the homebound, that they will enjoy abundant comfort in God's healing presence especially those who continue to struggle with the COVID-19 virus in some way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who work tirelessly to protect the virtues of faith, hope, and love, and the values of truth, liberty, freedom, and justice for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of the Sunday Mass faith community that will be placed next to the altar, and for Mildred Goglia, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, a healer of broken hearts, gather our prayers into your eternal heart, respond to them out of your merciful love. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for, the for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. Give up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is to the right and just, our dear and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, 
your word through whom you made all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, unborn of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be built out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased us throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and then forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all these stresses we await, the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. We don't take away the sins of the world. Rest of those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, my roof but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that may one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. And thanks to all of you for joining us today in our celebration of the Sunday Mass. A special thanks to Father Lionel, to Lacelli, to Mika, to Preston, to Father Michael, and to Rob for praying with us and helping us to celebrate this day. Friday of this week is the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. Uh, maybe a day to pause and in a special way allow Mary to be part of our lives. Have a great week, everyone, and until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart.